Hi, this is James Sidley. Welcome back to the Living in Naples channel. Uh, today I'm going to present something a little bit lighter, uh, which seems appropriate as I record this in the uh, wake of Nicole passing through the southeast, and uh, hopefully that will be the final storm of this uh, unfortunately eventful hurricane season in 2022. Um, I'm going to talk about today four categories of buyer that you don't want to be and that uh, no agent wants you to be, uh, present company included. Uh, you know, while today's video is definitely intended to be uh, more on the tongue-in-cheek side, I do think that there's uh, potentially some useful insights for you um, if you are thinking about buying a home in Southwest Florida. Uh, as always, I appreciate you tuning in, liking, subscribing, and sharing. And with that, let's jump into the for don't be this buyer categories. Uh, number one is the renter and buyer's clothing. Uh, you think you might buy sometime in the future, but even if the most amazing deal was presented to you on a silver platter, uh, you, there is no way that you're going to pull the trigger for the foreseeable future. Um, you know that's great that you know that, and uh, I just ask that you want to be uh, that you be upfront about it. Uh, you know, don't have us going out and looking at places and, uh, and uh, considering and talking about what the market looks like, etc. cetera, um, if you know that you're going to uh, be renting for this season, next season, possibly even the season after that. Uh, while I, I think that's, again, that's great. I, I don't generally handle rentals, but I can absolutely point you in the right direction and have arranged some rentals for uh, clients in the past. Um, if nothing else, I can, I can definitely refer you uh, to someone that would be able to help you uh, with, a, with a rental for upcoming seasons, although very tight if you're still looking for the 2022-23 season. Um, but bottom line is, again, just, just be upfront about it. We can talk. I mean, if your timeline is three years, five years out, we can still be talking about the market so that you're a very knowledgeable buyer when the time is right. Um, and uh, we can go from there, but just uh, just let me know that you are in fact looking to rent and not buy uh, for the foreseeable future. That brings us to number two, and that's the uh, the market denier. Um, the in this category, you know, you're you're out there saying that houses shouldn't cost this much, so um, I'm gonna uh, just not going to shop above my budget, um, or I'm going to insist on. Uh, on making offers on the low ball side of things that are bordering on, if not going into uh, the, the offensive low ball offers, you know, um, just, uh, you know, you just really have to recognize that the reality of the situation is, uh, it is such that it is, uh, that we are in a very different market here in 2022 than we were in even early 2020. Uh, and that uh, we have to face that new reality, you know, certainly, uh, we can we can start to have those conversations come back into the market aggressively when uh, the market moves to you if it ever does uh, timing is right and the market circumstances are right for you but uh, if you're you know if you're thinking that uh, that home that condo that that was three hundred thousand dollars or four hundred thousand dollars a couple of years you're still going to get for three hundred to four hundred thousand dollars versus five, six, or seven hundred thousand dollars. You know, that's it's just not going to happen today. Uh, it may happen in six months. It may happen in six years. Uh, but let's have the conversation. But know that uh, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to be out uh, aggressively shopping, uh, doing showings on those places if the market isn't where you know where uh, you think it should be. That brings us to number three, and. The, uh, the information shopper, shall we say. Uh, you know, in this case, you, you really have no intent of using me as an agent, uh, but you just want to glean information uh, and knowledge from me for hours on the phone only to go buy an F FSBO alone uh, or something else. Uh, you know, my video catalog is out there. I've provided my information and, and my insight uh, for what it's worth. Um, for free, so uh, hopefully you, you get a little more than what you pay for it. Um, but uh, you know, I, I and I certainly I'm not saying that I expect that everyone who reaches out to me is going to uh, work with me. 
where you know, we definitely have to get together, talk, uh, mutually agree that there is a good fit there um, after having some one-on-one -on -one communication. But if you engage in that one-on-one -on -one with me, um, you know, please, please come in uh, with the intent to work together and, and value my time as well as yours uh, and, uh, and move forward from that rather than uh, you know, simply uh, taking the time uh, to get that information uh, and, then, uh, and then not uh, utilizing my services or another agent's. Uh, and that brings us to the last of the categories, and that is the, the real estate tourist. Uh, you know, in this case, you, maybe you, you get in touch right before you come to the Naples area um, or, you're, or while you're there, uh, just as you arrive. And, uh, you know, perhaps it's a rainy day like we have behind us today uh, or some other plans of yours were scuttled and uh, you think it's a good idea to go out and look at some homes. You know, listen, I, I bought my first condo in Naples almost 15 years ago under similar conditions. Uh, so it happens. But I also came into that situation knowing what my budget was, knowing what I was looking for, and knowing that I was planning to buy if I saw the right property. Uh, if you can't check at least the first and third of those boxes, then you know, let's be realistic and, uh, and not go to a, do a bunch of showings. Uh, rather, let's hone in on some areas for uh, for a surface exploration now, and then we can aim for showings on your next trip uh, when you're honestly your, to be a realtor and not your tour guide. Uh, that I'm presenting, which is very much of the, um, the you know, recognizing the humor in some of this, uh, but also uh, you know just, let's just be upfront about. Uh, what the relationship to, should look like and what a good working relationship can be between realtors, a realtor and a client. Uh, as always, I, I appreciate you tuning in. Thanks for subscribing, sharing, and liking. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Thanks so much.